Welcome back to the channel and to another new vlog. So this is going to be a long weekend vlog. It is currently 6 p.m. right now. It's super late in the day. I'm still in my cleaning clothes, mum life. And um, the only clip that I've got today was me um, stripping and remaking our bed, which I'm super gutted about because I'm not going to be able to sleep in it tonight considering me and the girls are about to pack our bags and head to Murray Bridge because tomorrow is um, Waitangi Day and I end up face painting there every year for the past three years I think it's been now so if you guys are unfamiliar on what white on your day is or you haven't heard of it and you're new to my channel and this is the first video that you're clicking on I am half Maori half Italian and Waitangi Day basically is a national day of Aotearoa which is also known as New Zealand this marks an anniversary of the 6th of February starting from 1840 it was originally named Treaty of Waitangi it wasn't really celebrated until the 1900s but since then to now obviously we celebrate it so I have been face painting at Waitangi Day for um, about three years I think now and basically um, it's a representation of us, us Maoris here in Adelaide um, where we all can come together we have hangi which is um, obviously meat that's cooked in the ground with vegetables and all of that yummy stuff. The event is run by my family so my nana is obviously the one that's in charge, my nana and pop um, and they obviously take care of everything. I know that this year they're going to have like jumpy castles and um, they've got farm animals and a lot of food and candy stalls and they've just got like literally everything it's going to be amazing. Right now I'm about to have a shower and get out of these clothes the girls just pack their bags but I also did a trial run on their um, faces these are basically just some of like the rainbows. Um, I did Spider-Man, which Ava has on her face right now. Um, and then I did some little dragon horns and Natalina. And then like a really pretty um, flower petal design, which I obviously can change up. Um, they're packing their bags at the moment and I think I should be doing the same too. But I need to double check that their bags are actually packed properly. This is what I'm taking up for the... Um, face painting so I just have this box um, I brought a lot of stuff yesterday before the face painting so I've got a whole lot of these glitters glues um, to do some stamps on kids I've got all my split paints and this is also a new one that I brought so I brought this from the tag um, official store here in Adelaide so I've got this case which holds all my paints because they have just been loose and I just love to see it all organized and I also ended up getting this which I'm so obsessed about. So this is a brush holder as well so um, got all my essential brushes that I need in there and then this is my folder which those photos that I just showed you guys I need to print and put in some slips in here as well so that way um, yeah the kids can pick what they want. I do also have my brush washer and everything like that but that's all out here i want to show you guys the girls faces because they're so cute for photo purposes i obviously took one of the horns off but that's what the horn looks like and then that is what the flower design looks like so pretty I'm all packed and ready. The girls are in the car with the ball at the moment. They're just playing around being goofballs. But I thought before I go, I'll do um, a little bump shot just because I haven't really done one. So I'm going to show you guys my 21 week bump. Right, I'm just wearing this knit, which you probably would have seen before if you follow me on Instagram. I've, you know, featured it in a few photos, <laughs> but it's just super comfortable um, despite it being a little bit short. Um, but we've got a long drive, so I thought I'd just chuck this on, considering we're just going to be in the car anyways. Um, but yeah, here she is, guys. 21 weeks. 21 weeks and one day as of today. So baby girl is growing. It's currently 6.30 now, and we really should be getting on the road. I might just get some water and some snacks for us. 
So, um, the girls are out here. The car, like I Mommy. kind of cleaned the car out. Mm -hmm. Yes, darling? I'm putting my drawing book in my bag and my sister's drawing and book in our bag. Okay, thank you so much. So I just have all my paints and glitters there. I'm bringing my laptop and obviously my own bag with all my clothes that I packed. Are we ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just put it um, the light together, and then we, we can put it up here together. Yeah. All right. Come on, guys. Let's get in our seats. Yay. Hi. I'm sure I'm not the only one that does this, but um, every time we go on like trips, whether it's you know to Marybridge or I don't know Melbourne, like literally wherever, um, we always get like takeout yeah. before like we go. That makes sense so um i've just stopped at Macca's now um obviously you can't eat like meat in that um on good friday so i'm gonna get myself a fillet of fish a double fillet of fish because i'm just really hungry right now i don't know why i've just suddenly had the urge to eat a lot so i'm gonna get the girls um a small chips and um a little bit of ice cream for the drive up um, it's 7.20 now and I've got my little maps open. It says we won't get there till like 8.20. Um, but I have a feeling I'll probably get there a little bit earlier than that. I can't please get two, um, ice creams in a cup. Um, so, um just the vanilla, the soft serve. We're gonna get our food, we're gonna eat it and I probably won't film anything too much after this but yeah i'm super excited and i'll see you guys tomorrow good morning fam happy saturday so it is the next day um i'm just gonna quickly recap on what happened when we got here sorry it's a bit loud because we're all trying to load up every single car and all our trailers and that um, but basically we got here at like 8 just before 9 o'clock and then um, before we got here we started doing um, the Pangi stuff so I'll insert a photo here of what they look like and we didn't go to bed till about midnight and my nana has been up since like 4am I don't know how she does it and I got up at 5 we went and got some pancakes and yeah it's just basically been go 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 so me and my cousin Joylene Joy Bells <laughs> We're gonna um go down there now because she I think she's setting up. What are you setting up today? Uh, popcorn uh, candy floss. Oh the candy floss. Oh she's doing she's on the candy floss um section. And um I need to go to Big W's actually. It's only 7.38. But eight o'clock I need to go and run and get like a mirror, a towel, just some stuff for face painting. But um yeah, I hope you guys like today's vlog. I don't know how much footage I'll actually get, but I'll try and get as much as I can. So I clearly didn't get any footage of a wide tangy day, whether it was a setup or just my station, just because as soon as I started setting up along with everyone else and everyone else's stools, I had a huge lineup of like six kins. By the time I finished, I ended up doing like 30 plus children that day and my back was so freaking sore but it was an amazing day the girls had a lot of fun well ended up coming a little bit later so the girls um were with their cousins and they just had the best day ever after that we ended up coming home and we all crashed out clearly because we got up super early and um yeah and then obviously the next day was easter so i'm going to chuck in some footage of the girls doing their little Easter hunt here at the house. I don't have any footage of us, you know, going to lunch or um, to dinner just because my family don't really like to be recorded and, you know, to respect their wishes, I didn't record and film anything. It was just kind of like in the moment um, spent with family. So I don't have anything of that, but I do have little snippets of the girls um, 
finding chocolates scattered around the house. So I'm going to insert that right here. Look at this parrot too. Wow, this what did he give you? Blood. That's for you. This, I think this one's Natalina's. And this one's Ava's. a blast on Easter. We didn't do too much at home just because I knew for a fact we were going to do a really big lunch and an adult and kids Easter at my nonna's house. So we just kept it really simple. I'm pretty proud of myself because this year I actually did the bunny, um, what are they called? Bunny feet along the floors and the girls were just super excited about that. It's probably like one of the highlight of the morning is how excited they were to see like all these bunny feet scattered around the house. Besides that, I have just been occupying my time and motivation into things that I love and really stepping back from anything that isn't healthy or beneficial in my life or my family's life. I've just been really grinding on being a mom being a wife um obviously growing this little baby girl right here and keeping busy and staying motivated and pushing myself to do things that i wouldn't normally do so in saying that i have um started up my business i'm hoping that i can bring more um behind the scenes of what i do and how I do things um, in my business of Little Leo's Creations. There's a lot going on this year already that I can't wait to show you guys. I'm gonna chuck in some baby related videos that, you know, are gonna be memorable that I can look back on and be like, wow, like I did that or that's how big I was or that's this or that's that. So I'm super excited to do that. Thank you guys for watching and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.